Hello, this is Bible Guyver, and today I'll be reviewing the Gear Aid Tanu Dive and Rescue Knife. I did a bit of a review on this uh, in the video for the first aid kit for my car, um, but just to make it on its own separate thing, so you can see it directly without having to go through the rest of the video on the other one. Um, here is a just a quick look at this. So this is a dive knife. Um, so this is the, these clips here are for webbing on like a uh, life vest, but you can put it on webbing of other things. It doesn't fit Molly in my experience. It, it's loose on Molly, but the clip on the back, which you can use on webbing, does fit Molly quite well. Uh, sometimes you may need an extra little piece on the inside, but you know, there are these on the side, so you could make something work. Uh, this actually works really well if you have webbing on the top of your backpack, like on the um, on the shoulder strap, where you could have it in this position or this position to give it, you know, give yourself some room, make it easier to, re to get to. So this has a really sturdy lock. Like I'm trying, I can't. What you do is there's this little lever at the bottom here. Bend that down, and then you can pull this out. There it is, it says gear aid. The lock is on both sides. It's a rubber and plastic grip. Has a couple of lanyard holes, um, so you can put it to whatever you need to. Also find out that the edge on this is actually a little on the sharp side. If you really had to, you could break a window with it. That's why it's on the outside of my first aid kit, just in case. So you'll notice that a dive knife is a little bit different than a regular knife. There's no point. It's a blunt end. I can get that to focus. I guess not. So it's a blunt end, so you can't accidentally stab yourself or puncture inflatable raft, things of that nature. So you have a serrated end, one edge. Come on. There we go. And you've got this regular smooth side, and you have like a cord cutter, fishing line cutter, whatever you want to use it for. I like how this is, this is rubberized, but it's got this nice way to hold so you can't go too far forward, or you could even do it this way. Now this way would be a little uncomfortable. I mean, even this way would be fine, because it puts up to your hand in either direction. That works out pretty well. Again, it's a modifiable clip. You could take the uh, screw out of the back, take the clip off, if you want more room. It's got a really strong holding lock on it. And of course, it's got some extra holes on the side if you want to make it into like a neck knife or some other kind of strapping for it. So you have a lot of options. And this is not overly expensive either. They come in two colors. They've got the, uh, I call it highlighter yellow. They call this the nav green color. And there's a dark green, like a forest green color. Of course, it's got the other curate symbol at the top. It's got a nice auto click. Now it doesn't come out again. Unless you just push down on that lock. It works in either direction. And that's it. I mean, they tell you, for the most part, it's good for salt water. In my experience, even though it's a corrosive resistant kind of steel or coating they use on it, um, it's going to rust. Anything that's really metal is going to rust. I would put this better for uh, fresh water. Or if you were going to have to use it in salt or fresh, either way, Wipe it down when you're done. That's it. Well, that is the Gear Aid Tanu Dive and Rescue Knife. I'll put a link in the description on Amazon and Gear Aid's website and maybe Gear Aid's storefront on Amazon because they also make the Tenacious Tape and a bunch of repair kits for camping and boating and all sorts of things. Great company. And uh, I'll leave that in the description. And that's it. Thank you for watching. Uh, if anything here you enjoy, please like and subscribe down there or down there. Any questions or comments, leave them at the bottom and I will answer them as soon as I can. Thank you and have a glorious day.